here. Hey folks, I'm here just with a quick update on the asteroid. I'll have my news later. But uh, the asteroid 1988TA and asteroid 020, or 2002, sorry, 0D20, aren't on space weather potential hazardous asteroids charts. They have 2005 NZ6, which is passing by us today at 0 .09 astronomical units. 2001, 2004, 1998, 2000, 2002 KL3, 1999, 2006, 2001, 2006, and 2003. <clears throat> Why don't they have 1988 TA and 2002-0D20? Because NASA didn't have them on their near-Earth object chart before. And for people that look at that chart would know that. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look at this right here for you real quick. This is the asteroid that's passing by today. It's right here at Earth. 0 0.092 astronomical units. As you can see, this is a fast mover. So there you go. Right now it's 0 0.092 astronomical units. Yes, that's pretty far out. Okay. But there you go. Just wanted to go ahead and show you guys that. <coughs> you guys are look onto my other videos. You know, because these are the ones, all the near Earth objects that are coming up. That was from today is when it's as close its approach. They it's supposed to be it says date April 29th. Why does it say May 3rd? It's close to the perch. April 30th, May 25th, May 31st, so on and so forth. To show you guys, this is spaceweather.com. Go ahead and bring it up for you. So there you go, folks. You guys want to go ahead and look into it? Spaceweather.com is pretty good at keeping near Earth objects on their little charts. Usually they have every single one of them. There's a reason why they don't have 1988 TA, and there's a reason why they don't have 2002 0D20. So, if you guys want to go ahead and look into that, you guys can. Much love, and God bless.